Will GPT-4 Artificial Intelligence Be Smarter Than a Human Genius? OpenAI's GPT-4 is a next-generation large language model, after GPT-3 and ChatGPT, and it's expected to use 100 trillion parameters. This jaw-dropping parameter count is possible because of recent artificial intelligence supercomputing advances from the Cerebra's brain-scale chip cluster hardware, which is as able to run a neural network with 120 trillion connections for reference. The human brain has an average of 86 billion neurons. However, what sets GPT-4 and OpenAI apart from previous large-scale models is its use of sparsity at the core of its design. This means that even though the model has a parameter space of 100 trillion, the compute cost is likely to be lower than one might expect. This is because many of the neurons in the model will be inactive, reducing the amount of computational power required to run the model. From a layman's perspective, this means that the model will be able to keep a larger number of possible next words, next sentences, or next emotions, based on the context of the input, the use of sparsity in GPT-4 could potentially improve its performance and make it more efficient, as it would require less computational power to run, regardless of its sparse nature. 100 trillion parameters would make it an extremely large AI model, when comparing to other sparse models like the Switch Transformer and Wudo, which only have a few trillion parameters, GPT-4 is significantly larger. Given the already impressive ability of language models to generate human-like text, and the recent advancements in audiovisual generative artificial intelligence, it makes sense for OpenAI to continue exploring this venue with GPT-4. It is not yet known exactly how GPT-4 will be able to handle these different input modalities, but use of multimodal input and output is an important direction for the future of AI, not just because the human brain processes information from multiple senses, but because the world itself is multimodal. When artificial intelligence is able to process sight, sound, touch, smell and even taste-related inputs, it will be able to effectively interact with the world and understand the complexity of human experience. This suggests that OpenAI has found a way to reduce the cost of training large language models. There are a few possible ways that this could be achieved. One would be if OpenAI has improved its optimization at the software level, allowing it to train the model more efficiently. Another possibility is that GPT-4 is able to take advantage of faster chips or hardware, reducing the cost of the computing power required to train the model. This would allow developers to avoid the use of optimization heuristics, which can hinder performance. GPT-4 from Apina is expected to be released sometime in January or February of 2023. With extremely large language models that have more connections than the human brain, artificial general intelligence could be closer than we currently expect. This is a significant development for soft robots, which can change their shape to imitate biological tissues like muscles for use in prosthetics, but are vulnerable to damage. The new robot is able to detect, damage and repair itself. The researchers tested the robot's ability to detect and respond to damage by repeatedly poking a sensor on its leg. The soft robot stopped moving for about a minute after each poke to allow the sensor to heal. Because traditional backpropagation algorithms were not well suited to the system the researchers were developing, they created a new co-optimized learning algorithm that takes advantage of the hardware parallelism of memory store crossbars. This algorithm, which is based on the differences in neuronal activity observed in Russian studies, is tolerant to errors and is able to learn even from sparse, poorly defined and noisy information like the brain. The researchers plan to study how these systems scale to larger networks and more difficult tasks tasks. They also plan to study various brain-inspired learning algorithms for training deep neural networks and determine which of these perform best in different networks with different hardware resource constraints. They believe this will not only help us understand how to learn efficiently in resource-constrained environments, but it may also provide insight into how biological brains are able to learn so efficiently. So what is your view on GPT-4? Let us know in the comments.